Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Scorpio. There are no dates on my readings. I just trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. Scorpio, I've done your reading today with my big combined deck. So you're going to see a blend of the two decks in your spread today. Um, as well, I've been mentioning this more and more in the readings recently, but it's interesting to me how this, um, this reading seems to be connected in some way to the Libra reading that I just did. And it seems to be back-to-back -back signs that this happens to where it's like the energy just, just kind of spills from one into the other. In fact, this one can almost be seen as like the other side of the story from the Libra reading that we just did, that I just did. But it can also be completely just a standalone separate situation. But it's just interesting to me how they how they blend and merge perfectly together. So I don't know if you're this is like a Scorpio Libra relationship or somebody on the cusp. And I'm seeing both sides of the situation. Whatever it is, um, take out resonates for you. I'm just noting how it's actually really beautiful to me how the energies are just kind of this beautiful um, continuum from one into the next sometimes it's really lovely so that being said we begin your reading today Scorpio with the parrot it says watch your words this is actually coming in as um, kind of a guidance energy for you saying it's not actually watch your words although that could be part of it what it's talking to me about today Scorpio is see this parrot has got this gorgeous burst of energy like this forward lunging excitement it's coming out words of um uh appreciation gratitude um adoration respect that's like that's what's coming from you and it's really beautiful but there's something here about you know this page of water coming next the message is to almost watch your excitement level because you're super over the top excited and uplifted by this one, this page of water. But the message coming through the cards is like this page of water is coming through as almost really um, modest, delicate, sensitive, extremely sensitive and um, on a new path this one, this partner of yours, or this friend of yours, or this child of yours, perhaps. It's like they're, they're beginning a new thing. It's almost like I'm seeing, you know, with this one being the child and her dress there, it's almost like a, like a, a dance recital with this shy little girl who's tiptoeing out on stage, you know, wants to be there, but it's just really overwhelming. And of course, this isn't literal. This is just symbolic. We're talking about energies here. There's somebody in your life that's really tiptoeing into a new um, expression, maybe self-expression, maybe a new um, displaying of their gifts or however it is. You know, they're really feeling vulnerable and exposed right now. Um, and you're absolutely supportive and excited for them. But it's like the guidance here is saying, just to be careful because they're so sensitive and they already have, they're already overwhelmed, it feels like. They're already being overwhelmed with the experience itself. So it's just kind of giving you this guidance to, to be a subtler in your support, I guess, because this armadillo spirit coming out next, it says set healthy boundaries, but it feels to me like a guidance card, almost like a, like, um, the guidance from the cards is this armadillo here almost wanting to hide this one. I mean, not really wanting to hide them because it's part of what's going on for them is that they're stepping out, right? But just energetically kind of putting a protective layer over top of them to buffer some of what's coming at them, right? So it's just saying to be mindful of that, Scorpio, be mindful of how sensitive and vulnerable and exposed they're feeling right now, right? Because with this five of air coming out next to this five of earth, again, you know, this kind of dance recital energy, this um, performance, you know, being on display, right? Um, but, you know, with them both being fives, 
it's talking to me a little bit about all of this attention, including yours, Scorpio, although they're out and they're, and they're on display and they're part of the show, when that attention hits them, you see all this, you know, this it's just like more of this, this parrot blast of energy. It's like, you're not the only, you're not the only one. Like I said, it's almost like there's an audience, you know, if they're stepping out and up in their life in a new way, there's going to be a lot of eyes on them. A lot of people maybe just commenting on the change within them, you know, however it expresses in your situation. But so just all of this really fast kind of fluttering energy rushing towards them is kind of making them want to just retreat into the background, you know, just kind of, um, blend into the background and not be seen, right? I mean, they're not, they're not going to, they're, they're obviously out and on display and they're, you know, they're, I feel they're committed to it, whatever it is. It's like, they know that this is a new, because it's a new thing for them, that there's some discomfort and adjustment to get through in order to be comfortable in this state, um, and not have them completely toppled, but you know, inwardly, their inner experience is just wanting to hide, like not, not comfortable at all, right? And so that's the guidance coming through here. And perhaps you're not, you're not seeing that, you're not privy to that, because I feel like it's really their their inner experience. They may not be showing it on the surface because it's coming across here that they're extremely graceful and talented and you know, very um, streamlined. You know, it's like they've been preparing, rehearsing for a really long time. So they're not showing their stage fright outwardly, but it's very much there, right? And so gorgeously here with these two cards, the Ten of Fire and the King of Fire, Scorpio. This is you here, this King of Fire, and this is your friend or partner or child. Um, this is the one who's performing. They're, they're absolutely mesmerizing in their, in their whatever it is they're offering, you know. Could be just that they're opening their own business or, you know, whatever it is for them, whatever this new thing is for them, they're absolutely masterful, even though it's new, or at least it's new in the public eye. It's newly on display, right? They're, they're showing their abilities outwardly, maybe for the first time. That's the part that's new, but they're absolutely masterful, right? That's what they're absolutely prepared. And like I said, was saying here, completely graceful and skilled and gorgeous and receiving a lot of praise and attention. Um, and then, you know, this is you absolutely lit up. There's also a bit of a message coming through here too, as you know, this being the five, this being the beginning stages of this for them. But when you look at them, you're seeing the 10, you're seeing the full blown potential or the, you know, the, yes, the full blown potential the further expansion, you see where this is going fully. Like you're absolutely lit up. It's like, no matter what they're doing, just like a child at their first ballet recital, you're the parent in the audience seeing this gorgeous five-year-old, right? Tiptoeing out on the stage. But you know, in your mind's eye, you're seeing them as an adult, like absolutely gorgeous in their full expression, even though this is just the beginning of it, right? You see what I'm saying? So. Peacock spirit here next, very much like this parrot. It's basically, you know, you are just so proud, Scorpio, so proud and lit up, completely heart activated, just explosion of pride and excitement and adoration for this one. Like you're just wanting to blast it to, you know, to get on the mountaintop and declare it to the whole world. Look at my Look at my person, look at my child, look at what they're doing. You're so proud of them, right? But like I said, the guidance is just to absolutely be supportive of them, but just be mindful, just be mindful. You know, this Ace of Fire and the World card, like you, you just want to celebrate them you know, it's absolutely lighting you up. You're the, the king of fire, the ace of fire. This is all the gorgeous brilliance that they're inspiring within you just by watching them. You see purely their talent, right? It's like, it's so crystal clear to you. It's so obvious to you, even if it's just in the early stages of being expressed. Like I said, you see where it's going. It's like, you know, 
that this is going this is going to go global in a sense or it's going to be you know that this is their absolute purpose their absolute life path even if they're five years old you know already this is what they're meant to do this isn't just a child taking a dance class this they're they're going to be in the ballet as in the, you know the national ballet you see it fully it's almost like you're having a clairvoyant premonition of the future you see the whole thing laid out in front of you right but for them this transformation card for them they're still really just in this delicate first stages I often say that this is like the childlike empress in the never-ending story at the very end of the never-ending story and she just has the spark of creation in her hands that's where your friend is at or your child is at they're still at this this beginning creational point and because of that because it's just still for them from their perspective it's just in its infancy right it's just coming to life for them in this way you know they're coming up with this with this mouse next to it it's like they're just absolutely delicate it's really in their in their inner experience it's almost like it's you know just a spark or it being so tiny it's almost like they they feel like the the excitement the energy is just gonna it's gonna blow the flame out something like that it's like you know they're trying to keep everything still and calm because you know with the with the antelope spirit out next it's like too much energy is just it's it scares them it's coming through here as fear it's like they just want to disappear into the background they just want to flee like i said i don't feel like they're going to i feel like they're very much committed to this this is this you know whether they know it on a conscious level or not they they see it too they know that this is that this is their thing that this is their life path this is what they're destined to do absolutely but they're just in this they're so delicately tiptoeing into it it could also be because they know the enormity of it they know the the magnitude of their purpose that you know it's a little bit Yes, it's overwhelming to them, but also it's so important to them that they just don't want anything to go wrong. And that comes in here too with the 10 to the small things. It's like they're needing to focus on every single little element, detail. You know, they want it to be absolutely perfect. Every little bit in its place, absolutely perfect. And so you coming in with your excitement is just... Um, it's distracting them from their focus and that just aggravates their energy. They're easily aggravated because they're so hyper focused, hyper diligent, and also extremely exposed and sensitive. So they have a very complex situation going on here, a very complex kind of tightrope walk for them. And it's like they need they need absolute silence in the room, like not even a pin drop. The tiniest little distraction is just going to be, you know, really disorienting for them. So they need, oh, it's like I can feel their energy. It's like, you know, when you're watching the gold medal competition at the Olympics and it's like the figure skating and like the tiniest little error is just going to, their entire career is destroyed if they if they fall if they stumble at this point even though it's just the beginning for them i really strongly feel like it's just the beginning it has that that kind of a significance for them it may not be reality that if they make a mistake it's over but that's how they're feeling internally so the guidance in the cards it's really strongly coming through as guidance for you is that there's this protective energy on them a buffer in place because at least it's protecting their inner their inner um, experience because it's so delicate not because the situation overall is delicate i feel like the situation overall is assured it is definitely exactly what you expect it to be and they as well but they're just they're so in it and they're so overwhelmed that they're not able to they just don't have the confidence they don't have the they, they don't have the luxury maybe of the confidence they have to stay hyper vigilant. That's the feeling that they have, at least. So, 
the message, um, Scorpio, it's interesting. How does this tie into the Libra reading that I just did? The Libra reading was actually about somebody coming into a new um, gift or ability. And that new ability was actually what was scaring them a little bit. In fact, I think this card, the, a couple of these cards were in that reading as well. The, the new page energy and the being terrified energy. But they were, here it seems like, like whoever I'm tapping into is very confident in their abilities. But what's scaring them is the exposure um, and, and the, the absolute need to have it be perfect. Where in the Libra reading, it was much more about the newness of the gift coming in, the ability coming online that was startling to them. So, but a very similar energy, a very delicate, um, vulnerable energy. And so this, the guidance here, Scorpio, for you is to absolutely be supportive, but to do it in a, in a gentler way. Like don't, don't necessarily, I don't even know that they need your verbal support. It's like, just being around them is support enough for them. It's like they know they know you're with them. They know you're with them. And if you don't throw them a celebration, they don't want any kind of celebration or added attention, added celebration to what's going on. It's like they want it to be as subtle and under the radar as possible, it feels like. So Scorpio, I'm going to continue to pull cards to see what else we can find out about this. Um, if you're interested in the extended, link is in the description box. And if not, I will see you next time, Scorpio. Thanks. Bye.